to start out here, uh, to get this uh, presentation or this uh, design started, the first thing that we're going to need to do is go and get some surface information and import it or bring it into the drawing to allow us to see what existing ground is. So I'll use the create surface command here. And the option that I'll use currently is import point file. This will allow me to browse out to a directory and select a point file to import. It's going to change the name of the new surface so that when it comes up in my project explorer, it's very clear for me what this surface is instead of the default uh, name with the numeric increment, surface one, surface two. I'm going to use existing ground and I will classify it as a surface type existing ground. This sets the default draw options for the surface. This can be the contour interval, if contours are drawn, if triangles are drawn, etc. And I'll browse out to my directory to meters and I'll grab my input file here for data. This is an XYZ format file, uh, just a comma separated list of values providing me the x-coordinate, y-coordinate, and z-coordinate, or if uh, the format was modified a little bit differently, as we see in the, some of the next surfaces, NEZD or PX, YZD, different formats of files can be chosen from common industry formats of uh, delimited data for surface creation. So since this is an existing ground surface, it does come in drawn based on the default display properties inside CEM for existing ground surfaces, which if we took a look under the properties command here, which mimics from the main ribbon, what this individual surfaces display properties are, and we can see that it's set to draw contours, major contours with labels and minor contours with labels, and my contouring interval is major contours every three meters and minor contours every one meter. This can be adjusted and it will affect only this one surface or we could um, uh, turn off the contours. I'll leave those on for a moment. It does uh, display better here if I leave them on. And I'll turn on triangles and we'll come to this mo uh, window over here, change my shade mode to shaded with edges and we can see that we have a full tin surface definition in the drawing file for the roadway and the existing ground in our working site area.